this is the kind of thing I was more looking forward uh, this is like too challenging What's up guys, Screwabout.com here. Welcome back to another episode, another model blog of the Screwabout.com. Today, guess what? We're going off-roading again. <laughs> and actually today heading to another location. I found one here that I think, I believe, is a small trail where people go with motorcycles and ATV just to like have fun for a little bit. It's like on the side of the road and stuff. But this time, I'm not sure what kind of terrain I'm gonna be facing because I haven't been there the good thing is that I'm not loaded today like a few days after the sand test I decided to remove all the the rear rack setup that I have with the roto packs and the top case and everything and as you can see I don't got nothing now it's completely empty I got my sporty rack and man this thing feels it's a whole other different bike man it's impressive like I'm really surprised how heavy like just the rear rack was like 10 kilograms just the rack without the top case and the roto packs and anything and with the entire thing completely loaded with the saddlebags and everything it was like over 60 kilograms you know like it, it was actually a lot and that's why I think this bike couldn't get away from that sand pretty well and now feeling how light the bike it is I think that I think this bike can handle a lot more on you know, off-roading with Novi tires than I'm actually expecting, you know. My purpose of going off-roading with the Vespa is when you're like completely loaded. I just want to see what a Vespa is capable of doing in different type of terrains. Just to see what the actual Vespas can handle without luggage because I guess if I'm traveling in a long trip, so one day I face myself in a location where I don't think my Vespa is not going to be able to handle. Like for example that day on that sandy area. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through there. Let's see. I think I will be able to. Let's see. This is over here. Uh, definitely not. It's been a while that I don't I haven't been here. Not a hundred percent sure if I can go through there, man. I remember I went once here with my ET2. I'm not 100% sure how I handled that. How it managed to do go through there. It doesn't look that bad, you know. Let me just go for another location. This doesn't seem to be pretty. I don't feel too comfortable going there. Might have another location. Let's go and take a look and see. I want to go through like a like a really narrow trail through the woods that can turn out challenging for the bike you know like to go through just not on the just know it matters of like the feel the terrain and how the bike handle the terrain itself but also in, in matters of handling the bike the weight the size and you know all the, the key points that you have to like keep in mind when you are off-roading I'm gonna head to Moss Park, uh, that I'm a couple miles away. I'm here at Moss Park. It looked like raining a couple of minutes ago, maybe. This is a little bit of what I was looking for. go look how nice that bike handles that man beautiful
I was actually kind of fun. It's just that I want to go for longer. Something more, like I said before, I want to get like deep into the woods and get into something more narrow and challenging, you know. See how this bike feels to do something like that, you know. But that was actually kind of fun. I'm going to park really quick here and refill my tires. So I can hit the road and head back home. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. Oh, look at that deer. The little deer. What's up, bro? Look at that. <laughs> How nice. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep in the lookup. So I still wanna go through some different type of terrain to see what this bike can handle and how I feel handling through those terrains. We are here on another day on the lookup for the challenging road, challenging terrain for the Vespa. Just to put it on the test to see how it performs. Well, I don't have any weight behind me, any top case, any roto packs, any saddlebags, anything at all. So I believe there's like a motorcycle trail around here. I've seen some motocross riders practicing somewhere around here in the woods so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look see if not too sandy see if we can get with the best path yeah I believe it's around this part right here see there's like an entrance here and there's another one here too and there is another one here too and there is another one here too there's like plenty of it I just go and take a look at it kind of sandy to be honest you need to go through here with the with the passport I mean it doesn't look too bad if it's not sandy like that at all and it get hard like that it's kind of cool to be honest Give it a shot. See how it goes. This actually feels really good man like in this kind of terrain it does actually feel a lot lot better it gets kind of sandy <laughs> look at that transmission that's funny it's actually handling really well this should I go through that mud not sure This is the kind of thing I was more looking forward. Uh, this is like too challenging. F***ing size thing.
This is why a bath bay is not meant for this. It's funny because this thing is definitely not meant for off-roading because as I say on the last time let me just get my breath back <laughs> like I say in my last video in one of the comments the size thing is a must for off-roading but not actually because it's actually really low on the ground and that thing is like hitting all the time so it's not really cool having a size tank. I mean, the bikes handle really well the ground, you know, with these tires, to be honest. But it's definitely not meant for off-roading, you know. It's like not really the best bike to do this kind of stuff, but if you ever get to find yourself in a situation where you have to like go off-roading it will be kind of cool to know what can bike can handle I mean the bikes actually feels really good on the on this kind of sand like when it's not like too deep I want to slam myself on a tree. This kind of sand, like without that much weight, it does handle really well the bike. Like I feel a lot more confident. The bike is not like going everywhere. It's way better to be honest. It definitely feels really good. But definitely not meant to carry that much weight, you know. I think like the big blocks do help a lot in terms of handling that much weight if you have on your bike. I think those actually make a difference for you to be able to go through to something like that, you know. Well, I think I'm done with the test with the Vespa. As you can see, it's all muddy, more than I expected, to be honest. 
<laughs> but it was actually kind of fun to test that out actually heading out from this park trail that i found around here was actually pretty fun and it was a short one but i think it was good enough for the best but because if not i was gonna abuse her you know <laughs> i think it's about to rain so i'm heading out now i don't want to like see my size thing is even stuck with all that mud <laughs> oh well that was kind of fun that was actually a good test for the Vespa in my opinion even though it was kind of short I didn't want to go for too long because I know I'm putting a lot of stress on the bike I can feel it on the bill I can hear it on the thermostat the fan keeps going on and on and on because it's obviously not getting any air because we're not going like more than five eight miles per hour but it does actually feels really good on the dirt you know like in that kind of terrain i mean even though it's still a sandy terrain but it's not as sandy as the other one the other one was like a beach you know <laughs> like there was some sections where it was kind of deep but it was like more hard than anything and we got through some mud and we got a little bit of everything in that trail that was actually really a really good find to be honest i would have loved to go a little further but it's just a short trail it's like a loop there's like not really anywhere to go so and i didn't want to like be going like too much with the bike because i just want to see what the bike can handle you know this bike's not meant for that like i'm not looking to go off-roading with this bike because it's like if i want to go in adventure off-roading the whole time i will just get a, a gs you know or, or just a dirt bike you know if i want to have fun off-roading you know but i just want to see what the best bike can handle to see how far it can go to see how far i can trust it you know <laughs> it, it is obviously a bike not meant to do that you know because it's really heavy everything shakes you know it's really low everything hits on the ground you have to have some good suspension so you're not like bouncing everywhere like i was because i have my old suspension you know the stock one which already have more than 10 years so they might be already old <laughs> So I was just like bouncing everywhere. So it's not really fun to do, you know, like you don't really have peace of mind because you're more worried about not damaging and, you know, doing something wrong to your bike while going through that thing that instead of just enjoying the, the landscape, you know. I think that's my final conclusion of going off-roading with the Vespa. It's not something that I'm gonna choose to do for, but I definitely wanna see what, what the Vespa can handle. Like it, it, it does can handle those type of terrains, I will say for a short period of time, not for too long because then you will be putting a lot of stress into the bell and you might get yourself stuck by blowing off the bell, you know. It's really easy to blow the bell when he's sleeping like that. It gets really hot, you know, it's, it's just not meant to do that. I think I learned the lesson. I think I'll be doing like a final video about the whole setup. Even though I might keep calling it off-road setup because this is, this is for sure an off-road setup but it's not actually meant to do to like go off-roading like maybe the Nobby tires are actually pretty cool to have on the bike maybe they're a little bit too much because what the tires can handle the bike is not able to so I think like having Nobby tires on the best bike is more of an aesthetics I will say because it's not really like you don't really need them because what the Novi tires can handle the best bike will not you know so it's not really a waste to have them but I kind of feel that way you know because Novi tires can do a lot because they're, they were designed to do that so I think if, if, if I'm gonna go somewhere that I know is gonna be like really challenging for the bike and some dual sport tires are not gonna do the job really well I will definitely go with the Novi tires or at least if I know I'm gonna spend more time on the dirt than on the road I will definitely go with the Novi tires because those actually feels really good on the dirt no matter what terrain it is no matter what setup you have no matter what bike it is you know if you're going on the dirt just go with the dirt tires <laughs> I'm actually really happy with the performance of those tires and with the bike itself this type of terrains like this kind of uh, gravel it does handle it really well so it's actually not a bike for off-roading at all but it does actually behave really well with those tires i think that's my final conclusion with this setup i did really feel confident with the bike 
while going through some places like even through the mud when I throttled the bike at that point when I was when I felt it was going like really deep as soon as I give it a little throttle man that tire got some real grip on that mud I was surprised by that it, I think that my next mod if i want to keep doing this and i really want to keep testing this bike for off-roading which i don't think is a bad idea <laughs> i think that my next mod will be chucks and wheels you know i'll have to improve my chucks and bigger wheels man i think some 13 inch wheels will help to go through you know trees roots mud sand everywhere you know it, it will like really help out i think those are actually the two main mods if you want to prepare your Vespa for off-roading you know wheels and chuck and then tires <laughs> then the rest of it the rest of it is just aesthetics but for me it's more important <laughs> I want to go through like a like a really narrow trail through the woods that can turn out challenging for the bike, you know. Uh, this is like too challenging. 